Welcome to another edition of Zach's Rank Buy. I am Brian Bolin, and I am the aggressive growth stock strategist here at Zach's. And I've got two more stocks for your aggressive growth radar screen. So let's get right to it. The first one I've got is Spotify Technology. Spotify Technology. Here it is. S P O T is the ticker. It's a Zach's Rank number one. It's a strong buy. It's got an A for growth. It's just about all of my uh, aggressive growth videos will have. And then a D for value. Now, I love to see that this is the growth divergence that I talk about somewhat regularly. A strong growth score and a weak value score means I'm on the right path as a growth investor. Uh, so this caught my eye just as I'm doing this. We can see a beat right here, the stock dip, and then off to the races, the 45 degree angle. It's not what all dreams are made of, but boy, oh boy, I love to see it. Love to see it. All right, so Spotify, we know it's a streaming music sort of thing. Uh, boy, it's it's a big cap, big cap tech here. It's got forty billion in market cap, uh, and reporting for not not for a little bit here. So February sixth is our scheduled date for earnings for Spotify. So let's see why do we like this company. Let's go through our numbers. Well, we start with our earnings history, and I'm going to tell you what that is not the earnings history we're, we're used to seeing. A miss and a miss and a miss and then a beat. But boy, oh boy, look at that beat. That beat is so big that it wipes out those misses. And we have an a, we have a, a positive average surprise for the year. Great to see. Most importantly, inside of this little facet of the earnings history, we see a loss, a loss, a loss, and a gain. The Flip to profitability, and that is a big deal. A lot of uh, big investment managers only want to invest in profitable companies. Is it going to stay that way? That is the question. You don't want to you know, post profitability and then slip back into negative earnings. Uh, so let's look at the estimates. Where did the estimates go? Well, they reported and things went down a little bit. So 90 days ago, it, you know, the earnings were probably in the, in the thing. It popped up 35 cents. Then the analysts all said, you know what? No, nah, maybe management got to them and said, let's bring those numbers down. Let's make them beatable again. And so they're calling for a loss of eight cents. Now, it wouldn't be the end of the world, but boy, I would really like to see them, uh, you know, get somewhat close to that 36 cent number where it originally was. So is there a big beat coming? I don't know. Maybe, but it kind of sets up that way. Uh, then the next quarter we get, we zoom into profitability. Look at that goes from 23 cents to 52 cents, and they haven't taken that number down. 2013 is but a memory for most of us. Uh, that number is going the wrong way, uh, 215 to 260. But it's that year's over. We, we invest for what's coming, not what has happened. And what's coming, we can see analysts are pretty happy about this stock for this year, 156 to 242. Those are numbers that you want to see. So Spotify looking good on the earnings director direction, I guess we could say. Um, now, let's just take a quick look at sales and see what's going on here. I like to see this. You know, you're you're on a big uh, fourteen and a half billion. It's a big number um, for sales. So, you know, bumping up to sixteen and a half next year. We see fourteen point eight percent growth this year, seventeen percent next year. Growth is accelerating. That's going to put it in rarefied air. We're going to be growing. Good thing for Spotify. Check out our financials. All right, our valuation statistics, 83 times forward earnings. That's a lot, but they're just coming into profitability. So that number is going to be a little bit inflated for right now. We can see nearly 20% growth on the top line uh, last quarter. That's great to see. 17 times price to book. That is a big number, but... Asset slim business, you're going to see something, you know, pretty, pretty big on the price to book. So 2.95 on price to sales, which is pretty nice to see. Operating margins are going to go from negative to positive as they start to make money. Uh, and we'll get a real idea of what this business is really all about. So we've seen margin improvement. That's good to see. It's Spotify. Oh, wait, wow, I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's look at the chart. I'm just so anxious today. All right, so uh, the world's going to end. Where does the world end here? I guess it was right here. Where I guess everyone knew that the world wasn't going to end for Spotify. We're going to still download digital music, but it runs up after the pandemic. We've got the tech 
kind of recessionary thing. You know, most tech stocks went down. You know, they've been missing the number, but the stock's been getting better because they've been heading closer towards profitability. Uh, so this beats, and basically we're going to head towards profitability. And then we have these gigantic lines. Uh, you know, the difference between here to here, that's your earnings growth. We think of that as earnings growth. And these are the forward estimates. I've made that chart look ugly. How do I do that? Okay, so there it is. It looks better this way. This stock could easily be $300 by the end of the year if they can continue to beat the number as they have just begun to over the, after snapping a streak of five misses. So that's Spotify. Keep that one on your radar screen. It's S-P-O-T, Spot. All right, Blackbaud is our next one. We go from Spotify to Blackbaud. Blackbaud is B. L K B. It's a Zach's rank number one. That's a strong buy. It's got an A for growth and a D for value. Growth the virtues that I love to see. And look at this. I mean, it's not your 45 degree angle because it gets ahead of itself, came back in, but does it have the potential to get there? I think it does. I think it does. Uh much smaller. Uh, you know, your small mid cap here. Um, four billion. Uh, this is computer software. So they do CRM and all sorts of data, cloud sort of things. It's great to see. All right. But we're just running through numbers. Why is it is X rank number one? Number one, why is it doing it? What it's doing? You got a good history of beating the number. Beaten, beat, beaten, and really beating up that number here last uh, quarter there. Uh, making money. Making more money. Making more money. Making more money. So on an absolute basis, we're trending in the right way. I know my, my arrows are terrible. I'm really bad at drawing. You're not watching this for my drawing skills. Estimates. Holding still. Dollar four. Inching up by a penny. A dollar to a dollar and a penny. Uh, 382 to 386. That's good to see. 448 to 453. Inching slowly. Slowly moving up. Up, up, up. Constant improvement. Love to see constant improvement. How are we growing? Well, you say... For this type of stock at a billion dollars in sales, we're only growing 4.7%. That's, that's not what I want to see. But obviously, we're going to get a big boost up. We're going to double that, accelerating revenue growth. But it's single digits, so that's it's not going to get it in the rarefied air of Spotify. But a single digit doubling up just about, that is good to see. So from $1.1 billion to $1.2 billion, good we like growth. I love growth. I'm a growth guy. All right. Let's take a look at our valuation. Very reasonable forward numbers, considering they've been beating the number. The absolute number is moving higher. Uh, I'm going to go so far as to say this stock might be cheap. Price to book only five times. Again, assets slim for the most part. Uh, price to sales four times. I could easily see that be a six number right there. That would be a 50% improvement. Uh, six point two five percent top line growth. So not a ton of growth. Margins though, a good boost up here in the most recent quarter, almost two hundred basis points, six point five to eight point four. I'm gonna round up. So uh, I like I like everything that I'm seeing here. If it starts to grow even more, it, you know, the stock could take off even more. But it's it's got a good chart. It's got a good valuation. Let's take a look at this chart. Oh, boy, the world was really going to end for these guys with the pandemic here, not like Spotify. Apparently, everyone knew we were going we were gonna to download music, but uh, obviously the cloud must have been thunderclouds. All right, and we didn't see that gigantic recovery and extension from previous pre-COVID highs. Uh, it hasn't, hasn't gotten there. So is there something left? Is there a potential for an asymmetrical return on this sort of investment? Maybe. Uh, tech recession, they felt it there. Uh, but since, since then, we're going right back up to our tech recession highs, but not our pre-COVID highs. I think that makes this uh, stock something that much more than I want to look at because it hasn't fully recovered to pre-COVID levels. All right, so if we look at our estimate lines, we really start moving up. And this is the 220, 2025 number, and that is moving really good. 24 kicked up just a little bit in front of it. Uh, but the idea here is that Blackbot is looking good on a lot of metrics there. Good valuation, 
uh, to keep the growth going, they're going to be one of those stocks that you're going to love to see in your portfolio. All right, that's it for me. Be sure to join us next week when we look at two more stocks for your aggressive growth radar screen. And until then, why don't you go to zax.com slash promo to check out all of our latest promotions.